What's impressed you about Keith Smith so far? We've asked you about pretty much all the running backs, but what stood out from him? I think the most impressive thing is his um, awareness, his ability to play tight end, fullback, in the slot, cover kicks. He's just a natural football player. He's got great instincts. He, he, he learns extremely fast, and he plays physical. Just what we want in a fullback. Smart, physical, durable, and uh, versatile. You think those instincts are kind of because he didn't come up a fullback? Yeah. yeah. I mean, he still brags about picking off Derek Carr in college at linebacker. He earned his way uh, into the league with the Cowboys. It's not an easy team to make. And uh, became a, a really good special teams player. And he's going to be quite a fullback, I believe. Has, uh, has Doug Martin showed you what you've needed to see from him in practice? And are you going to be expanding his reps at all on, on Friday night? He showed us a lot. We think he's a, he's a really good back. And um, I don't know how much he's going to play against Green Bay, honestly. We're going to play the starters on offense, I believe, into the second quarter. Not going to play them a whole lot, but they will get uh, some time. And uh, hopefully they have some success. Defensively, it'll be about the same. But uh, Doug has done a heck of a job for us. And uh, hopefully we can utilize his strengths this season. From 21 personnel, do you think it would be fair to say you guys, as far as across the NFL, probably as physical of a 21 grouping as it gets, just with the offensive line and the backs that you have? You mentioned Keith as a fullback. Well, we like our we like that personnel grouping. We like a lot of our personnel groupings and whatever package helps us win a game is uh, is where we're going to go. But we think we've got some components um, in that grouping, two backs, one tight end and two receivers to be pretty good. DeAndre Washington, how's he, what's his status? He had a, uh, a minor scope on his knee. He, he will not play against Green Bay. Uh, I don't know that he'll play against Seattle either, but um, he's recovering quickly. I don't have any update, no. Uh, I hope so. I'm, uh, I don't have anything to report other than I don't have anything to report. Um, how does that issue or injury with DeAndre just affect things? We've seen Chris Warren, although he's got a lot of room to improve in a lot of key areas, he has impressed. What's that dynamic with those two, with DeAndre yeah. unable to actually physically participate? We like DeAndre. You know, I think the running back position from top to bottom could be the best group on our football team. You know, Marshawn's had a great camp. Doug's had a great camp. Jalen Richard is, is a superb back. I mean, he can do a lot of things. Washington can do a lot of things. You saw the Detroit game. You saw him last couple seasons. And Chris Warren has a lot of people's attention around the league. And we have a fullback. So uh, hopefully uh, we find a way to keep all our backs. You mentioned last week about uh, Derek Carrier and the fact that he had all these connections between Sean McVay and your brother and Deuce over in Washington. And did you find him to be a particularly quick study because of all that? Yeah. You know, I, I can just remember going to training camp and watching the Redskins and everybody liked Carrier. And talking to my son and he liked Carrier. And then when McVay went to the Rams and Olsen joined them, they liked Carrier. And then when free agency came around, I liked Carrier too. So uh, uh, I think he's going to be a really good player for us. You know, some guys take four or five years to find their, find their niche and get their opportunity, and he'll get his this year. What are you going to be looking for from um, – I know you said that you're not set in stone as far as the tackles, but for, with Donald – getting his first uh, game reps at right tackle. What are you going to be looking for with him? Well, he's obviously getting himself back into playing shape. And um, certainly he has to get acclimated to, to playing right tackle. But he's played it before. He can play it again. And the big thing we just want to see is some progress in his conditioning. Um, and we want to see progress in Colton Miller and in our entire offense, honestly. It's been a while since they played. Detroit seems like a long time ago. Do you consider it likely that Eddie Vanderdose will begin the season on PUP? It's getting to look that way. I mean, I don't want to say right now, but has had no off-season work and hasn't had one day of practice yet. He's getting better, but it's been a slow process.